Levántate, lucha, grita bien fuerte, que en el Toro no queremos la pena de muerte. Levántate, grita bien fuerte, que en el Toro no queremos la pena de muerte. Levántate, lucha, grita bien fuerte, que en el Toro no queremos la pena de muerte. Levántate, grita bien fuerte, que en el Toro no queremos la pena de muerte. Je voudrais souligner le parallèle entre l'histoire coloniale de la, de la peine de mort à Porto Rico et l'histoire coloniale de la peine de mort dans beaucoup d'autres régions du monde, notamment en Afrique ou, et en Asie, où c'est le colonisateur, hein, notamment français et anglais, qui a euh, apporté la peine de mort. Ce qui donne lieu aujourd'hui à des difficultés particulières quand il s'agit euh, de l'abolir. Lorsque nous avons réfléchi en décembre dernier au lieu de notre prochaine Assemblée Générale, que nous voulions tenir dans une région rétentionniste, c'est donc naturellement que nous avons choisi Porto Rico, coincé entre le géant états-unien à gauche et l'élégant grand arc caribéen à droite, tous deux donc largement rétentionnistes. Et Porto Rico s'est imposé à nous comme un îlot d'espoir dans une mer très menaçante. I'm Leela Ramdeen, I'm the chair of the Greater Caribbean for Life, which is an organization that was established on the 2nd of October 2013. It's difficult to tell what effect our organization, our fledgling organization, is having in the region. However, there's good news in the sense that we find that uh, people are willing to come on board um, from retentionist and abolitionist countries. So, for instance, um, the vice chair and the secretary of the Greater Caribbean for Life are from Puerto Rico, from the, the um, Puerto Rican Bar Association here. And we now know that Suriname, um, they've now agreed to make a decision that they will get rid of the death penalty from the penal code. And Suriname and Grenada were abolitionists in, in, in practice for, for quite a while. So gradually, the key issue is to keep raising awareness, to educate people about the ineffectiveness of, of the death penalty and the fact that it's not a deterrent. A lot of people, because of the high rate of crime in the region, are, are listening to the politicians who constantly whip out the, the death penalty as the bogeyman um, to frighten people, to make them think that they're going to, that by, by hanging people in our region, we're going to reduce crime. And we know that is not true. Certainty of conviction and swiftness um, it, it, it are much the more potent factors when we know that it could take years for people waiting for their trial to come to court. That lengthy delay and the, the ineffectiveness and deficiencies in the criminal justice system, those are some of the issues we need to address as well as poverty and social exclusion. My name is Ruth Weidenbos. I'm the Deputy Speaker of the National Assembly, also a member of the Executive Committee of uh, Parliamentarians for Global Action. Suriname is for a long time on the list of the self-imposed uh, states, so we um, have the death penalty still in our penal code, but um, as we promised, in Geneva last uh, year with a parliamentary delegation that we will abolish um, the death penalty. There is um, consensus about the political parties in the National Assembly. We will have the majority, um, I hope, uh, the absolute majority. You can um, change cultural uh, thinking, the public uh, opinion. That is what uh, we as uh, members of parliament from Suriname will do in other um, um, countries in the Caribbean, but we will talk to members of parliament first because they are very, um, let me say, afraid to um, talk about the death penalty, even for their political position uh, now, because the uh, public opinion seems to be still uh, for the death penalty, but I think that they miss um, information. We have the lowest crime rate and we have no uh, death penalty. It was in, uh, of still is in uh, our penal code. It was not executed since uh, 1927. And though we have the lowest crime rate um, compared to uh, other Caribbean countries, so I think that we can make our case to them.
I'm Raphael Chenulazan, Executive Director of ECPM Together Against Death Penalty and Vice President of the World Coalition. I've been uh, recently in Haiti uh, to meet uh, very high level personalities and members of the government to uh, advocate and for the ratification of the second op pro op um, optional protocol of the ICCPR. Uh, in, because AET has abolished the death penalty since 1987, but uh, do not have ratified this important international treaty. So the aim of the coalition is to push uh, AET to become the first uh, country in the Caribbean uh, area uh, to ratify this, uh, this treaty and to be a leadership on the, on the lobbying of the treaty and on the abolition of the death penalty in the area. All the information from the Minister of Human Rights I met and as well the Ministry of Foreign Affairs are very positive. Um, I'm pretty sure and they ensure me uh, that they want to, to ratify uh, as soon as possible this treaty and to push for the, for the ratification uh, among the, the two uh, parliamentarian chambers. Resistencia, aceptar que en su sistema como consecuencia pagan justos por pecadores en un sistema prejuiciado y falto de clemencia pagan justos por pecadores. Siempre madre de riesgo.